Hey guys, welcome to JMOF Pickup. This is JMOF. Sorry for the delay. For the first 30 days of my channel, I was putting out a new video every single day. Um, as some of you have seen, I was using some lower quality equipment in Europe. Um, now that I'm back in the States, in New York City, I'm using a DSLR camera, so that's why this is much more clear. I've got nice softbox lights here. I've got umbrella lights coming from the back. Um, but what I wanted to kind of announce is tomorrow I'm going to be putting out a huge, 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 huge video. Okay, so things I'm going to put in together in this video. First of all, it's going to have to deal with pulling in the first half of the night. And for those of you who don't know what pulling is, it means taking a girl home from a bar or club in the first half of the night. I'm going to cover brief clips um, from three popular coaches, from RST Julian saying the first half of the night doesn't matter. From Valentino Cohen saying nothing can happen to, on his boot camp. He has some footage online where he's saying the first half of that doesn't count, you can't do anything in the first two hours. And from RSD Alex, who later became Alex Social from the Four Week Natural, him saying that it's really improbabilistic you can pull in the first half of the night. Now, me personally, of course, I, I am an optimizer, I try to make everything very efficient. I developed a method to pull any time of the night. So I don't judge the time of night as being relevant for whether or not I can pull. So I'm going to teach you guys, and this is something I usually only teach on my boot camps, I'm going to teach you guys the exact script that I use to pull in the first half of the night, okay, because like I've said in other videos, the night's typically from like 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. in the United States because the bar is closed at 2. Or if you get there at 10, 30, 11, you have even less time. But I pull as much, if not more, like I, I even think it might be a little more, I don't track how many are from the first half, how many are from the second half, but I pull at least as much in the first half as I do in the second half. Okay, you can't say after party, I'm not gonna get into all the details right now. You can't set it up that you guys are like leaving the club for the whole night, most of the time. And I'll teach you exactly what I say and how I do it. But now here's the really, really cool part. I'm gonna show you guys, um, this is gonna be the first time I'm putting out like a full length infield, and it's gonna be where I pull a girl who I would rate personally a nine, um, from a bar in like 10 minutes in the first half of the night. And you're gonna to get to see the interaction from the start to the finish. And I'm gonna break it down with picture in picture. <laughs> These lights are fucking hot, by the way. Like sweat my ass off. I'm gonna need to get like a fan or some shit in here. But yeah, I mean, I wanted to, I kinda of want, I, I said before in the videos, I, I don't really give a fuck about my video and audio, audio quality and the lighting and all that shit. Like, I think my content, as you guys have seen, is like destroying any other coaches out there. Cause it's like practical, easy to assimilate, straightforward. No bullshit, I call out people that need to be called out, etc, etc. Um, but I do realize the other coaches are putting out stuff with DSLR cameras, so now that's what I'm using here. Um, I have softbox lights, umbrella lights. I'll experiment with the lighting, I can put fucking other lights hanging and shit. This is an Airbnb, but I like turn it into a studio. Um, I bought a new high-end mic that turns out wasn't compatible with my camera, which is fucking awesome. So I'm using like a, a Yeti podcast mic, but I have to like put it over here so it's like out of the shot, but I'm gonna experiment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to iron these things out over the next couple videos, but it, this should be a great upgrade for you guys in terms of like the lighting, the video quality, the audio quality, I'm using all pro shit right now. And I can even do the, uh, fucking sweating. I can even do the, uh, what they call depth of field, where I can kind of like blur the background a little bit. Right now it's just fucking shades in an Airbnb, so it's not that impressive. But I might do some fucking outdoor videos and shit like that. Um, or I might just get like a lavalier mic. I'm going to see how the, the audio quality comes out using this Yeti podcast mic. Normally the mics look a lot closer, but we'll see how much of the audio it picks up. Um, okay, yeah, so to recap, oh, and I had like a bunch of like professional intros and outros done. So like, I'm kind of like setting a new standard here for the production quality. I have, I have some editors I got on my team now as well. Um, I had some before, but I just, I just picked up some new guys. <clears throat> So I'm going to have like more fancy editing, I'm going to have like professional intros in my videos, I'm going to have professional outros, I'm going to have like uh, clips, like we're going to have these clips from these other coaches, we're going to have um, like some other fancy editing stuff. But the big news is I'm going to show you a, a pull in the first half of the night, and again I'm debunking the myth that you can't pull in the first half of the night, that's been widely propagated on the community, I think it's bullshit. I'm going to explain why in that video why I think it's bullshit, and I'm going to show you of me actually doing it. I have plenty of clips like this that are in my product, but I, I'm gonna put one out for free on YouTube. And this girl, I would rate a nine. And then, 
I'm gonna also show you like she was a fuck buddy for a while after that. Um, I was only living in Manhattan for a couple months, but she was like a fuck buddy until I left Manhattan. So I'm gonna show you. Um, we did like a wet t-shirt con <laughs> contest with her one day, and I'm more like blurring like the nipples once they get wet in her shirt. So because I don't know what's allowed on YouTube. Um, then you just see her like trying on outfits and shit for us going out, but it kind of shows you. Here I was able to pull this girl in 10 minutes in the first half of the night, and then I kept her on retention. If you haven't watched my last video on um, building and managing rotations, definitely watch that. And that will teach you how to get, how to maintain these girls after you bang them, okay? Um, oh yeah, there's even the Chris Parker cameo in this infield. And I'm gonna make a video blasting that cake, and he's a fucking loser. He basically ripped off my whole product, repackaged it as his own after he took two boot camps with me and I, I gave him really access to my program and he, he went through and copied a bunch of it. Now he's like talking trash in the community. And I, I saw in this infield, like I was reviewing this infield from when I pulled this hottie and I like went to grab her a cigarette off this other dude and I see him fucking escalating on, on my chick and shit like that, which is really fucking nice. I'm glad I cut that kid out of my life. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's gonna, you're going to get to see... The new intros and outros, you're going to get to see, with breakdown, this is fucking huge, with breakdown, start to finish, pulling a stunner in the first half of the night, and it's going to have a bunch of fancy editing, I'm going to kind of show these other like popular coaches, kind of saying this can't be done and stuff like that. Okay, so it's going to be a really cool video, it's going to set a new standard for the production uh, levels that I'm putting out, and also the content levels I'm putting out. And again, I'm gonna to try to keep you guys informed. I know you guys are probably expecting like daily videos just continue on and on. What I think I'm gonna be doing is I talked to some top YouTubers. They said just have a bunch of videos that you release um, once or twice a week. So I'm probably gonna like have a bunch of videos queued up and then I'll release them on like a Sunday at a certain time just so it's like predictable because otherwise you guys don't know when videos are coming. So I'll probably start releasing like a set of videos. I need to pick which day and, and if I'm gonna do it once or twice a week. But I'll announce that and I'll have it, I'll put it in the banner of the of the channel so you guys can keep up to date on that. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> something else that's kind of cool that I wanted to mention. So last night, if you check my Instagram, which I link in the description of every video, I, don't know the, I think it ends here, so I'll go like this. Um, I post sometimes like different chicks I closed. That put like a, a text screenshot with this, it's like this fucking uh, Dutch 22 year old like fitness chick. Not like manly fitness chick, but just has like nice tight body and shit from working out a bunch. And uh, that was number 774. So I just ordered uh, 777 t shirts. Like for those of you that followed me for a while, I made a t shirt when I hit 150 and it just had like stick figures. I actually got it from the idea because Jeffy was spray painting. Uh, stick figures onto the back of the van every time they got like a new clothes in his van That's where I got the idea. So I had like a shirt that was like 150 and then I made one every 50 So I made like a 200 250 and like they kind of ran out of room I think at like 500 or 550 I don't I don't think I made one after 500 or 550 because the shirt even at like really tiny Resolution like the chicks is insane. There's like 30 per row. and There's like 15 row. I don't know I don't know what the exact math was but and, I, and it's funny is like most guys haven't even cleared that single row I always used to like show guys like the shirt and I'm like, this is you like halfway across the first row and then here's, not to like put them down or whatever, I'm like here's the difference in our experience and a lot of you guys, a lot of the guys try to like disagree with my advice, the guys with like less than five day count, they disagree with my advice in the Facebook forums and the WhatsApp group. I'm not saying everything I say is right, I mean I think it is because if someone shows me a better way I, I adapt and I adopt what they're doing, of course. Um, oh shit, I have fucking... There's a chick about to come over. I'm not going to do that anymore though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set aside time to make these videos when I don't have other commitments and stuff like that. Because you've seen on some of my past videos, um, these chicks are fucking blowing on my phone or whatever. Or I'm distracted by all this shit. So I'm going to try to like up the professionalism. So that means less tangents. So I've got a lot of complaints about that. In my five hour video, like I cover a whole bunch of important shit. Um, I did go on a lot of tangents, but a lot of that, a lot of you guys have been giving me really good feedback even though it's a five hour video. So, the drinking on camera, like I'm, I'm really into fitness. I'm, I'm training with Sunny, by the way, and uh, I've already, in the first like week and a half, I've put on, I'm not even kidding, I've put on like 14 pounds. Like I started this at 195, and I'm, I weighed in at 209 today, in the morning. 
like that's literally 14 pounds. I'm eating five giant meals a day, like shitloads of protein, a gallon of water a day, all these supplements, and I'm like following all his, he's like fucking pushing me really, really hard in the gym. My, my lifts all went up this week um, from last week, like we're tracking. Everything we're doing is optimized. It's, it's cool. I'm going to play a video editor at the end. I'm taking a picture of every meal. I'm taking a picture of um, every workout. And not of like all the fucking reps and stuff, but my little like notes thing on my phone. Like all, basically all this shit that he's learned over like 10 years, I'm getting like the most efficient optimized version. So it's going to be really cool to like see the transformation over those three months. Um, and I've made like big goes at the gym before, but I was like not eating enough. I wasn't doing the right exercises. I wasn't, wasn't getting enough water. So I'm going to have like a video in three months that will like give like the full detail. Well, not the full details because you guys should really be getting um, coaching from Sonny. He has like a, this is Sonny Arvado I'm talking about, strengthbysunny.com. He has a, a diet plan, a workout plan, all this stuff. But I'm going to show you what like putting your heart and soul into this for three months does because like when I want to do something when I, when I wanted to master business I just like went all out at it when I wanted to master game I went all out at it and now I want to actually get jacked I'm probably gonna aim for like the 230 to 240 pound range with like 10 percent body fat which should be attainable within three months but if not within six months for sure um, yeah that's pretty much it so look out for that video it's probably gonna be posted tomorrow I have my editors finishing up some last minute things I need to go through and do the picture in picture breakdown of the infield. So look for it tomorrow if not, on Wednesday, if not then, then Thursday. Um, and I'll make the announcement also about which day of the week or which two days of the week I'm going to be putting out all my videos, and that'll give you guys time to review. And I'll try to alter the fucking backgrounds, do some shit outside, you know, spice things up a little bit. But expect a brand new quality standard here with intros and outros. And like, really, I'm giving you guys a full infield pull. Like, I, I try to reserve most of that shit for my product that's why the infield you see on my channel is just like cut ups from the interaction I don't show the whole thing I don't break the, break the whole thing down but I think this will be very valuable for you guys to see like start to finish the entire poll and then to see how she like came into my life after and became part of the rotation so that's pretty much it um, look out for that video keep sharing this channel with your friends like it's good we hit a thousand I'm gonna do a, a reddit ask me anything soon but I want to get things up to like 10,000 and far beyond um, I've been talking to this one top YouTuber that's gonna help me. I don't know if it'll happen next year, but or this year in 2018. But he's gonna help me grow this to well over 100,000 people using all like these top YouTube strategies. I changed all the thumbnails for previous videos. I'm probably gonna re-record down the line um, a lot of those earlier videos that were like grainy with shitty lighting and like makeshift equipment in Europe when I was traveling around Europe. 